guys, my name is Holly Baxter and today's video is all about calorie cycling. Is it beneficial? Does it provide any benefit to achieving our long-term physique goals? In a nutshell, no. That's it. <laughs> no, I'll elaborate, I'll elaborate. It doesn't really make a difference. What is by far more important is hitting your seven day total calorie budget. Depending on what your goal is, you're gonna have set calorie targets and you're going to have set protein, carbohydrate and fat goals. Calorie cycling really comes down to the individual's personal preference. What is really important is that over that seven day period, your protein intake remains consistent every day. That is by far the best thing that you can do if you're in the gym, resistance training, trying to build muscle, hitting your protein every day is the number one most important thing. You can't store protein. So if you under eat protein on Monday, you can't very well go and eat more protein on Tuesday or Wednesday to make up for that. Protein cannot be stored, unlike carbohydrate and fats. What you do with your carbohydrate and fats is really down to individual preference. Some people really like to have a really big meal prior to training, particularly if it's going to be a difficult one. Obviously that enables them to have more energy for a longer lasting session. Others, like me, hate having a large meal before I train. It would absolutely jeopardize my performance and I would not do as well if I went into the gym after having a huge meal. It really comes down to what you prefer. Calorie cycling, you can calorie cycle by having high carbohydrate days on some days. Maybe it is a high carbohydrate day because you know you've got a social event coming up on the weekend. Whatever the case, you can set those days, but it will mean that the other days will need to be compromised. If you wanna come out at the end of your seven day period, having hit your macro targets. So let me give you an example. I need a pen. <laughs> All right, so I've prepared a lovely example for you. I wanted to make sure this was accurate. So let's just say that your daily calorie target is 2000 calories. So over seven days, you would need to be aiming for 14,000 calories. That's your budget. So however you spend that outside of protein being consistent every day is completely up to you. To make up 2000 calories, let's say your target protein intake was 130, your target carbohydrate was 180, and your target fat was 84. I'm just using some arbitrary numbers. That equates to 2000 calories. Over seven days, you have 1260 grams of carbohydrate to eat. You have 588 grams of fat to eat. How you distribute those carbohydrates and fats, it's up to you, however you want. So for me as an individual, I usually like to save a greater percentage of my carbs and fats for the weekends because on the weekends, I like to socialize. If I can go out and have dinner, enjoy time with my friends and family, then that's what I'll do. And I don't want to have to restrict or say no to some of the really nice restaurant food that's available. During the week, on the other hand, I'm mostly eating at home. Uh, I can focus, I can prepare my own meals. So I'll have lower carbohydrate and fat targets because I can, it's easy for me to do that. But that's not how everybody works. So again, how you structure your carbohydrates and fats is completely up to you. Provided you don't go over that budget, you'll still have a successful week as far as compliance to your overall targets. So shameless plug, I actually have this app called Carbon Diet Coach and it has a calorie planner feature right built into the app. So it's a coaching app where you can go in and pick your calories on any day of the week, crank it up really high on the weekends if you need to, you lock it in and it automatically brings down your other days so that you don't go outside of your weekly calorie budget. It's pretty cool. So guys, I hope that was helpful for you. If you were wondering about calorie cycling, it really comes down to you and what you prefer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.